So this question is a word problem. So I'm going to use the translate word problem strategy. So to do that, all I want to make sure I'm doing is pulling out all of the quantitative information as I read it. And also maybe pausing here and there to make sure I understood what I read. I don't want to have to go back and reread the entire question at the end. So the first sentence here says, the first year Eleanor organized a fundraising event, she invited 30 people. So I'm going to say year one, 30. The next sentence says, for each of the next five years, right? So another five years, that'd be year two, year three, year four, year five, and year six, right? Because we're adding another five years to year one. So for each of the next five years, she invited double the number of people she had invited the previous year. Okay, so that means year two, there should be 60 invites. Double 60 is 120. Double of 120 is 240. Double 240 is 480. And double 480 is 960. And of course, you can definitely and should definitely use your calculator on things like that. So the next sentence says, if f of n is the number of people invited. Okay, so that means this entire column represents f of n. So if f of n is the number of people invited to the fundraiser in years after Eleanor began organizing, so this is like n, right, because n is years, which of the following statements best describes the function? Okay, so let's look at the answer choices and see what makes the most sense. Choice A says f, the function f, right, so this second column here, is a decreasing linear function. Well, that's not true, right? We're increasing. So A is gone, and then I'm also going to scan to see, oh, say, okay, so C also says decreasing. So C is also gone. So we know for sure that we should be increasing. So we're left with either B or D. Okay, so what's the difference between these two answers? Well, choice B says the function F is an increasing linear function. Well, a linear function has a slope, right? So it should look something like this. And that basically means that, you know, between each point on the graph, I should have the same rise over run. So let's check that. Do I have that? Well, between year one and two, I have a plus 30. Right? So that's, that's going to be my rise over run. Right? I'm rising 30 over a single year. And then between year two and three, I'm adding 60. Right? So I doubled that slope. And then between year three and four, I'm adding 120. So I don't have a linear function here. Instead, what I do have is going to be like an exponential function, which means B is gone and D is the correct answer.